Hey everyone, the Black Queen here with another episode of Queen Reacts, and today I am doing this week's episode of Modern Pony French Magic, Season 9, Episode... Ah, oh, fuck. 9? I think. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was Episode 9. Uh, the title is, uh, Sweet and Smoky, which... To me, that makes me think of dragons, because smoke, but, uh... In case anything else, uh... Not sure what else would have to do with smoke, maybe. Well, then again, uh, I was gonna say dragon shy, but it also had to do with dragons, so yeah. I'm guessing that. Maybe a spike episode? Maybe something to do with uh, all of that? I don't know. But uh, yeah, and before I get started, I'm gonna just put this out there. I do have some uh, Discord notifications coming in, so that might interrupt some of the video. I'm not gonna attend to them, but like, you might just see some notifications popping up every now and then. Uh, yeah, just a warning for that. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. In three, two, one, play. Uh, and we got Smolder, so. Is the exactly. audio a little pitched high? My brother's been having a hard time since ah. he for school. I want to go home and check on him. He's a really sweet guy and the other dragon. Are we going to see the brother for now? Did you hey. say sweet guy and dragon in the same sentence? Yeah, he's sort of like you, Spike. Nice. Aww. I'm sorry to hear about your brother, Smolder, but the dragon lands are really far for you to go by yourself. And I'm not sure about... I think the audio is pitched up a little bit. Hey, what if she got a school credit for it? Kind of like a, a, a kindness field trip. I'll go with her. Oh. The Dragon Lord is way too busy for personal problems when it's Not sure if it's like a ship or if it's like a older sister kind of thing. Oh. Oh, those cute little oh. Out of those adorable little tiny, tiny, tails. Can I go too? Oh my gosh. Well, you are the perfect pony to lead yeah. a kindness field trip. Yay, Fluttershy as well. Alright, so yeah, I predicted right. It has something to do with dragons. Uh, I guess we're going to be seeing uh, Smolder's brother. I think she mentioned him once. I think it was like during a. Uh, what was it? <clears throat> the. The Spike episode where he got his wings. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was a. Uh... Ah, oh, crap, that's going to bug me. Meltdown, that's right. Yeah, so. Alright. <laughs> They all can fly, why are they walking? I'm not sure those are the kind of things my brother's gonna be into. Well, what would make your brother happy? Just having Spike and me accept him for who he is will make a huge difference. Dragons who appreciate his more Wait a minute. I got it! Show to Hold on, I have a I have a I have a theory of something, but I'm not gonna say it until that's an interesting smell. Until I know. Stink of sulfur. I actually kind of like the smell of sulfur. I wonder if that's bad or not. I don't know. I can't wait to meet your brother, Smolder. We're gonna be best buddies. I just know it. Oh no, it's gonna. It's gonna be. I I think I might know, but I I haven't heard anything about this. But no problem. I'll stay here and finish this comfort blanket. I'm afraid if I'm afraid I might know who it is. Smolder's brother wraps it around himself. I'm sure he'll love it, Spike. Oh well. Um, probably not the best place to be. Probably shouldn't be there. Oh well. I can't answer you. It's an egg. Oh, Ember. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh no. No shipping names. <laughs> None of them are. 
watching over eggs is just part of the glamorous life of a I don't think she's supposed to be holding them, though. I think it sounds wonderful. Yeah, then maybe you can help. Oh, that was kind of a I funny hint you. right there. Do. I don't know. It's my first time being in charge. Dad wasn't big on sharing Dragon Lord details. It's kind of a burn or be burned job. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you're doing good. Learning on the job. Not really. The eggs should have hatched by now, but none of them have even cracked. Oh, dear. Maybe they're lonely? Don't you worry. Auntie Fluttershy's here, and the Dragon Lord and I are going to do everything we can to welcome you into this world. Really? How? Um, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> And well, if it isn't a little pony friend Spike. Well, I knew we were gonna see him anyways, but Runt's got wings. I'm so impressed. What's that supposed to be? Nothing. Looks like a baby blanket to me. It's not a baby blanket. It's a yeah. <laughs> Aww, did your pony pals make it for you with friendship and gumdrops? No, I made it. And by the way, knitting is a lot harder than it looks. Check out the baby blanket, guys. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Got your blanket. I'm, I'm just waiting for something, but I don't know if it's going to actually be true. That's what I thought. How's it scaling, bro? We better get out of here before your brother shows up. Garble isn't very nice to sensitive dragons. But Garble is yeah. my brother. That's what I no, thought. Brother. Yeah. Got a problem with that pony boy. Oh, brother. Get it? <laughs> get it. All right. Right. Yeah, he's been so weird since you left. Hiding and moping around. Wow. Not so easy, guys. I learned at Twilight School, ganging up on each other isn't half as cool as you think. Aw, pony school made you soft. Damn. Maybe later. So, let's get lava diving. What do you say? Better stay here, shrimp. Lava might ruin your blanky wanky. Let the whip tag along. Then we'll have some dragon to cook. Ah. Only gonna warn you once. Get Spike out. <laughs> you mess with him, you mess with me. Besides, he came here to hang out with you, Garble. <laughs> wow. Oh, sweet. Let's go do dragon stuff. Garble can have fun with his new friend. So they're just gonna try to make us like all the bad guys that we all hated. When are we gonna get a Prince Blue Blood episode? <laughs> Actually makes sense. You're not changing your mind about helping me cheer him up, are you? Me? Of course not. <sighs> okay, lava jumping. Just like old times, huh, Gargar? Yeah, Gargar. Like old times. Except for one little annoying thing. Scales away! <laughs> Come on in, the lava's fine. <sighs> you know, whatever I'm feeling a little down. Yeah, I thought so. How many times is that going to happen to him? 
He always like, goes in flat. Ow. Oh, that's it. In your mouth. Yeah. I wonder if it's just like hot sauce to them. Like it stings, but it's not really that bad. Unless you eat it. <laughs> I'm gay. No. Ah. Ah. What about Spike? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm probably still not going to like him after this episode, even if he is redeemed. Sometimes just hearing what someone appreciates about you can make you feel better about yourself. I'll go first. Spike, I think it's really nice that you're trying to cheer up Gargar. <laughs> Gargar. That's, that's great. I like how you always let every creature know how you're feeling, Gargar. Only Smolder gets to call me that! Yeah. Okay, lava still doesn't go that slow down. Gravity affects everything at the same speed, apart from wind resistance. Finger to all those people that say that Fluttershy has no development. That's great, honestly. Coochie, 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 Okay, I gotta pause this very quick. Alright, sorry about that. There we go. Wait, aren't the touching grounds supposed to be hot? Uh, of course. There's a lake of molten lava under them. Ah. Uh, the they're surfing on it. And something's wrong. I don't think the 
If it's been gone for a while, they would be dead. Bongos! Okay, I guess he has a hobby. Wow. Don't care to just take charge like this, it's great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure sounds like poetry to me. It's okay, Gargar. Words. Adverb. Pronoun. Who knows the reference I'm making? Fine. But I'm not a flowery, nabby, pamby poet. I'm a bee poet, dig. I'm totally seeing you. And you better not tell my friends about it. But why? If I was a poet, I'd want to share my creations with every poet. Yet she still doesn't. I mean, I guess kind of, but I, you know. Wait, you didn't know that? Also, he saved the Crystal Empire like two or three times or something. I like the jokes in this episode. That's so hot, jeez. Then again, maybe maybe it's fine. I don't know. You're gonna burn them alive. <laughs> There's only one pony there. I 
mean, I guess he wasn't wrong about that. But, but, yeah, I guess that's working. I mean, some of the eggs aren't really actually getting fire. I mean, yeah, I guess because dragons, they can withstand heat. Alright, I get that, I know. Just, I just find it a little weird, you know, that they're torching eggs. Get a bunch of dragon omelets. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think mean, that's probably not how it works. I'm not a dragon, I don't know. They all just happen to hatch on the same day. They have parents, though. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it sounds like the, the uh, audio was pitched up high, er, slightly. Anyways, yeah, that was a really good episode. Like, I think the uh, the season's starting to uh, get back up. I think it had a few weak moments recently, but it's like, the past few episodes now, so far, have been pretty good now. The last one, I still have on my tablet, and it's... Because, like, I was playing and watching it again, because I thought it was really... I thought it was that good. It might be one of my favorites of the season already. I mean, I said that for episode three at the time, but uh, I can still say it. Like, I can say it for this next for the uh, what was it? Episode eight, or is it episode nine? I don't remember. Actually, I'm I'm just gonna look up real quick. Oh yeah, that was episode eight. This is episode nine. So yeah, yeah, episode eight might be my favorite of the season so far, and this one is also pretty good. I'm probably I'm gonna give this maybe an eight out of an eight point five or something out of ten. I think yeah, eight point five out of ten is pretty good because uh. Yeah, there was just a lot of, like, emotional, uh, moments in here. Not, like, uh, sappy emotional, I mean, like, uh, like, confidence, uh, just overall strength in general, and inner strength is what I mean. Like, not like the obvious dragon tough guy strength, which is exactly what they were shunning in this episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that Garble is necessarily redeemed, because I feel like he still has some, uh, some of that teenager attitude, by te and it, kind of a snotty teenager attitude. Uh, but it's like at least he's making the effort at some uh, to some degree. And I guess he was kind of right with them laughing at him, but I guess that worked in their favor. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Fluttershy really had a lot of uh, not really character development, but I think it was like showcasing exactly what her development has become. Because I doubt this happening in season one, apart from that one instance with Dragon Shy, which was probably the first time that ever happened. Uh, and this was pretty much like Dragon Shy, but at its at, for her this was like Dragon Shy, but at like times ten, she was really confident in this. She didn't have like a single shy moment actually. Nothing. I don't think there was. Yeah, there was no single moment where she uh, felt like she was very like shy and uh, worried about something, but. It's like, she was sticking up for Spike, and, uh, like, against bullies, which I think is great for her, because that's just an excellent, uh, showcasing of what she's become as a character, since we've known, like, since we've known her for, like, nine years so far, and this is exactly where she's gone to. I mean, yeah, she's still kind of shy in some cases, but, like, maybe not in this episode. Just not in this episode, it didn't really seem like that. The, wor the closest it got was just when she was, uh... Uh, being uh, kind and like cute to the animal, to the to the eggs, because then again, that's not really shy. That's just being sensitive. That's a. Uh, it's really good for her. Anyways, uh, 
yeah, I think I rambled a lot on this episode, but I thought it was pretty good. And Ember also had a had some good confidence here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. God bless, stay safe, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye.